used to be undercover. I did time. I had to deal drugs. I even had to kill. And I was so good at it that it got me a promotion. <laughs> oh man, all right. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Rainbow Six Siege. Today, we're going to be checking out the Almighty Bandit. So, I just unlocked him. I've never used him before. This should be fun. He was a highly recommended operator by you guys down there in the comments. And um, I can't wait. He looks like he's going to be pretty solid. So, we're going to start off with our loadout here. Looks like we can choose from the MP7 or the M870. Um, I'm going to go with the MP7. A little bit more versatile than the shotguns. So for our attachments, sights, um, I kind of like the reflex on SMGs when I'm first getting to know them. Eventually we might up that to an ACOG, but uh, for now we're going to keep it on the reflex. So we're going to go with that. For barrels, I usually go with the compensator. I mean, a suppressor wouldn't be bad because we're, I mean, he's, he's a defensive roamer. Like he's got a three speed. We're going to be moving around flanking people a lot. Um... You know what? Let's try the suppressor. I haven't really used suppressors in this game, so I'm going to try that out. I'm also going to unlock the compensator as well. But I feel like we're going to have a lot of up-close encounters, especially with an MP7. I mean, it's an SMG. You want to be relatively up-close. So maybe we won't need that recoil uh, compensator quite as much. That looks good to me. For weapon skins, what do you guys think? Should we put something cool on there? Oh, man, we have a lot of good options. Holy cow. Okay, what is this one right here? That looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. We have the ice. I've been using ice on Jaeger. I like that a lot, but I'm gonna go with uh, Fractal. That looks pretty good to me, so we're gonna spend a few of uh, the Rainbow Six currency on that. Looks good to me. For our secondary, we've got the P12. Not really much we're gonna be able to do with this. Uh, we could go with the muzzle brake or the suppressor, I guess. I mean, you guys wanna go full stealth? Ah, actually. I'm going to go with the muzzle brake. I don't think there's a reason to have a, a stealthy secondary too, unless you have the um, your primary unstealth. And then for our gadget, we've got barbed wire or a nitro cell. I'm going to go... I mean, barbed wire is nice, but nitro cells are way better. All right. Looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead and head into a match here. This should be interesting. I know what his ability is. I kind of did a little bit of research beforehand, watched some Serenity 17, but um, I don't know. This should be good. We'll see what happens. All right, so it looks like we are going to be getting defense first here on Oregon, and this is going to be our first ever time checking out Bandit. So this is, um, I don't know, I'm a little bit torn. His ability is the battery. He gets two batteries, and you can set those up on metal objects. So like deployable shields, barbed wire, and especially reinforced walls. And these have two different uses. So number one is they do damage. So like if you put a battery on you know the barbed wire if somebody tries to walk through it it's going to do a ton of damage to him or if a drone tries to go through it it's going to take it out which is pretty good um if he puts it on reinforced walls that's good as like a second line of defense so that somebody like thermite or habana won't be able to break through the wall because it'll destroy their equipment when they get put on it now the problem is is if you put it on the wall beforehand then it will You, somebody can take it out if they have the EMP grenades. So you're technically, you don't really want to put it on the wall beforehand as long as somebody's running that EMP on the other team, which obviously it's kind of hard to tell if they are. And I don't know, it's just, it's it's kind of interesting. Oh, I don't I don't want to use that yet. We're definitely gonna, gonna keep that in our back pocket. Um, so really part of the, the strategy is to like, not, you, like you sit on the wall and then you wait until you hear them like putting on a thermite thing, and then you put it down. down to five seconds. That's the objective. Nice. I got him. Okay. For right now, I honestly, I don't even see any places to put that. Like, I mean, we could put it here, but that's nobody reinforced anything here. I just want to get moving. We um, we're meant to be roaming here. I don't want to get too far away, but... Jaeger's down here with us as well. 
hear him above us. Nobody there. Dude, this is nerve wracking. Kind of want to keep it moving on these fools. See anything? Op four, last operator standing. Thermite. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Let's go, baby. I was trying to flank him right here. Look at this. I was gonna come up behind him. He probably would have known that was coming, but still. Okay, I'll take it. Good stuff. So yeah, that was kind of an interesting round there because nobody really reinforced anything. So there wasn't, and there were no, like nobody used barbed wire. Nobody did anything that we could use those batteries with. So, um, I don't know. It's, it's, he's good. The MP7's pretty good. It's one of the better SMGs, I believe. So, I mean, I, I want to use him, but I just don't really know when, you know what I mean? So, at least when I'm, I'm not working with, like, it, it, it's a team-based thing. Like, if somebody was there laying down barbed wire or we were reinforcing everything in a room and I was, like, waiting to hear them planning stuff and then putting the batteries on it, that's where he would be really, really useful. He's a little bit more tactical, I believe. I mean, I, this is my first time using him and I just watched one video, so you guys may have some better ideas for, for tips for me, but that's kind of the, the gist I have. Okay, so I hear him upstairs. Advised, your drone has located a bomb. Nice job. Where are the stairs at? Over here. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds. I think I'm gonna leave this here. The diffuser is now. Kind of want to just go in the front door and make your way to its location and diffuse it. Start putting in work. Maybe not the front door. I'm gonna get right to work though. Hello, pretty. I saw you over there. Almost just blasted my teammate right there. Got him. Bro! You can't just be stepping in front of me like that. I'm so sorry, but dude, what the fudge? I'm really, really sorry. I I did not mean to kill you like that. 
I apologize big time. We're gonna throw a a G nade in here. They're in there as well. Plant and diffuser, man. Let's go. All right, we got him. Holy cow, those G nades worked. We injured somebody. Somebody else stole the kill, but it's okay. I was gonna say, I, the first one. I don't know how the first one didn't get him. I thought the first one was gonna get him. I was gonna rush in there and get the kill and then get the other guy. First one just did not do anything at all. All right, we're up 2-0. Oh. I'm gonna go back to Bandit here. I'm hoping somebody does something with barbed wire. I mean, we have Evans, one, two, three, four, five, two, eight. That's just picking recruit every time. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to do everything out here. We're 4-0. Not doing too bad so far. But, um, yeah, I want to get something where we can actually put the, uh, the batteries to use. My thing is, is like the battery trick where you wait until they start to put stuff down and then you destroy it. That's one of the most useful things you can do with Bandit. But at the same time, you kind of have to be camping to do that, which I don't want to camp. I want to roam. So I kind of want to just put this stuff down and run, which makes it a little bit less useful. But then I'm more useful as a roamer. I don't know. It's it's really interesting. We really want to blow a hole in between those two. Okay, so I'm going to reinforce these two and put batteries on them, I guess. Nobody else is really doing anything. So at least we'll know they won't be coming through here. I don't think they're running the whoever has the uh, the what's it called EMP, so we should be okay. I also don't think they're running Twitch to take out our batteries. So. Down to five seconds. I definitely heard somebody in here. Op four has located a bomb. All right, let's get it, guys. They took out the parking and the junkyard. I think they're coming from this way. Do I hear somebody at the front door? I hear him like outside in the backyard. Well, that was a lucky check. <laughs> I definitely hear him out there. Get out of here, baby. I kind of want to throw my nitro cell out there. I don't know if there's a last one, though. Dude, he's so fast. You can just, like, jiggle peek and don't have to worry. Do I hear him downstairs?
operator standing. I don't even know where that was, dude. I hear something. I hear somebody moving around. I don't know what it is. It sounds mechanical. Op uh, four is diffusing a bomb. You need to disable their diffuser. Located the diffuser. Destroy it. That didn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. That throw was such a puss throw, dude! I haven't ever really used the nitro cell. I was thinking we were gonna chuck that thing out the window. If we wouldn't have thrown it, and we could have moved up to that corner and then... Oh, man. I, I thought we were gonna kill him with the nitro cell. I really did. I don't know if... Was that him planting the bomb? Is that the mechanical thing I was hearing? Or the diffuser, I guess? Technically, it's not a bomb. I don't know. That was a... Uh, that was a bit embarrassing. Holy cow, I just got so I mean, he was in a good spot. I couldn't get to him. You guys saw I like tried to look if we could go to the right. We didn't have anything that would gonna that was gonna be able to blow through those walls. Like we we were hundred percent trapped right there. He had an assault rifle at medium range against an SMG. We weren't I mean, that was tough. Probably should have been a little bit more aggressive leading up to that. And not just let him go in and plan it. Um that's kinda I feel like that's where we made a mistake, but we're okay. All right. I don't think it's downstairs. Dude, I can't believe how short that nitro cell throw was. <laughs> First ever time using it, I just want to clutch up with it, and then it's just, dude, 12 year old girl status. That's funny. So we came in and walked right by it. We also saw that somebody was heading upstairs. Just gotta watch out for some spawn peaks and stuff. What if? <laughs> Sorry, bro. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. The diffuser is now secured. Got him. I couldn't tell if that was a, a guy or not, dude. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I thought it was a guy, but I couldn't tell. <laughs> that was really stupid. Look at that. He was just free. We should not have repeaked that. That was so dumb. This is the best team ever. Let's go, boys. Good stuff. What? Why is? Why is he breaching through that? Did you guys see what Thermite just put? He all he had to do was walk around the corner. This dude. This. I mean, we're seven two leading the squad. This is this is the special ed team. I feel like this is just. Oh, nice. It's a two v two. See if these boys can clutch up. If we see anything on the cameras or drones, I mean, I guess technically we don't can't really help out that much. One friendly operator remaining. I don't know. Is he trying to distract them? Is that the play here? I I really don't know what's going on. Pride! America! Happy 4th of July, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. He's right here.
This is making my brain hurt. I mean, we just made a bad play, but... We were just being over-aggressive. It wasn't even that bad. Alright, now I like what he's doing. One on four remaining. That was actually a pretty nifty play. He's got 50 health. Looks like we're going around five. Man, I feel bad because I feel like this is, I mean, seven and two isn't, that's not bad. Like we're having a, a decent game personally. I had a couple of bad plays, so I feel like this is just trash central. I don't know. <laughs> I want to, but we aren't really using Bandit to the best of his abilities because our teammates aren't using any good equipment to, to work with us really. Um, I don't know, this is just interesting. So how do we, dude? I don't, I don't really know this bomb spot. We're gonna have to get really, really creepy here. We only have one drone. This is, this is gonna get weird. We've got a guy. We've got a recruit. We've got a shield guy. We've got I, a glass. I don't really know what's going on, but this is gonna get interesting. So he's going up top above. Is it in the same spot? Jump. Let me get a quick look. Bomb has been located. Shit. There's a guy in this corner, right? How did that not kill him? He just walked right across. Well, we know where one of them is. We're gonna have to get in there, man. We got the diffuser. I thought we were gonna get another nade kill just like last time, and I guess not. Here we go. Somebody stunned it. We really have to clutch up now, Trev. There's no excuse. Are you kidding me? 2v1, let's go, baby. I'm coming in with this guy. I'm thinking about just rushing in because I'm weak and he'll be able to get the kill. go all right nine and i mean we had a pretty good game i mean we had a couple of questionable plays but we also had some pretty decent ones too so i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless honestly we really didn't get to use a bandit's ability much in this and that's just because none of our teammates were really uh we're really running much in terms of the metal equipment like we, we were putting it on walls obviously but 
Um, I guess we could have used barbed wire. Personally, I really want to get used to using the nitro cell, though. I feel like that's a pretty powerful piece of equipment. So, um, I don't know. That was interesting. I definitely liked them, though. Like, regardless, the MP7 is a beast. It's a really good SMG. And uh, I can't wait till our next episode. We're going to check them out again. And I'm going to see you guys there. Hopefully, we'll be able to use the batteries a little bit more in that one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.